We're blessed, Lord, warriors of God, Derek, and we're praying for America and time spent with the word. Father, in Jesus' name, thank you on today that the days of struggling are over. The days of lack, God, those days are over. The days of trouble, God, right now are over. The days, Father God, we're staying up at night trying to figure things out on our own. Those days are over because we belong to you and everything, Father God, that pertains to us, Father God pertains to you. So we come on today, even as we come praying for America and spending time with the word, we cast our cares on you. Father God, we release the heavy burden. We release the heavy laden. We release the stress. We release the anxiety. We release the depression. We release the sicknesses. We release the diseases. Father God, we release the corruption. We release the manipulation. We release the wicked and evil acts. Father God, because you are the one who will serve your justice to the ones who have asked for your justice and your justice will be served at your appointed time. So Father, everything that have affected us up until this point, even as we pray for America today, we've been praying for this nation for years now. And Father, we are believing that Lord God, you will show up and show up for us and you will allow us, Father, by your grace to see your miraculous hand moving here in this nation. We know it is not over for America. And Father, we know that it is not over for your people. We know this for a fact, and this is why we pray. And now we come speaking those things that are not as though they already are. Because Father, we know the God we serve. And Father, we know that that will be the expulsions, come on, and the exploding, mm -hmm, and the exposing. You're going to do it all, Father. This is why everything that have pertained to us as far as being bothersome and Father God perturbing us and stressful, we release it now. We release it. And we release it, oh God. We lay it down at the feet of our Father. And we say, in Jesus' name, we don't want it. And all we receive is your love, your joy, your peace. That surpasses our understanding. Even this time of year, Father God, is there troubles and turmoils everywhere. And, and people are just running crazy and rampant, Father God. They're stealing and lying and destroying and killings all around, Father God. This one thing's for sure. You said that when the enemy sees the blood, he will pass over. So we come in Jesus' name and we apply the blood on us. We come up under the protection of the blood. And in Jesus' name, we plead the blood of Jesus. Amen. Here in our nation and upon our families and our dearly uh, beloved friends. The book of Isaiah, before we close, uh, starting at uh, for, uh, chapter 46, uh, verse number uh, 1. Bel and Nabu, the gods of Babylon, bow as they lower to the ground. They are being hauled away on ox carts. Come on. The poor beasts staggered under the weight. Both the idols and their owners are bowed down. The gods cannot protect the people and the people cannot protect the gods. They go off into captivity together. The gods cannot protect the people and the people cannot protect their gods. When their gods crumble, when their idols crumble, when their statues crumble, come on, Holy Ghost. Mm. When the, 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 the wall that they have put up, mm -hmm, the, 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 the false idol worship that they have put up, the, sac the sacrilege that they have put up, all of these abominable acts that they have put up, my God, are crumbling down. And as those things are crumbling down, the people who put them there are crumbling down as well. And I see that as clear as day in the spirit realm. The people who put these things up, the people who authorize these golden images and these golden cows and, 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 and these idols for worship, as these idols and these things are come crumbling down, the statues are falling, so will it be for the ones who put them up there. Because these will be a sign to the believers that the seasons of the Lord retribution has arrived. And so let's pray for America. Father, we thank you for this land of liberty. We thank you for this land of peace. We thank you that this land is a beacon of hope for so many. We thank you, Father, in Jesus' name, that you are sending your angels across our borders to protect our borders and the families, Lord God, across this nation that are crying out for help, Lord, in Jesus' name. 
I thank you, Father God, that you are shaking up our government once again. I thank you, Father God, that you are shaking up our White House once again. I thank you, Father God, that you are shaking up our Supreme Court once again. Oh God, we got news coming for the Supreme Court. There are news coming to the Supreme Court and news coming for the Supreme Court and news coming from the Supreme Court. So I hear it and I see this. News coming, my God, to the Supreme Court. News coming from the Supreme Court. In the mighty name of Jesus and news coming for the Supreme Court. So Holy Ghost, whatever that means, I ask that you will cause it to be revealed so that we will all see and know and give you, Father God, the praise and the glory. I ask, oh God, you said you would shake the heavens and the earth once again. So shake the earth, shake our um, capital building, Lord God. Shake our military, Father God. Shake our school systems, Father God. Shake, oh my God. Shake up our media, Father God. Let righteousness exalt America. Shake up our banking systems, corporate America, Father God. Shake up our information technology systems, Father God. Shake all these things, Father God, and turn them around for the glory of Jesus' sake. And I just saw um, NASA, NASA, NASA. So, Father, you said you would, you said you would do the shaking. So, if you need to shake NASA, then shake NASA and turn NASA's heart <laughs> towards you, Father God, because you created the galaxy and you allow men to it only go but for so high in an altitude. And at some point, they're going to have to stop. And they can claim it the signs where the air is thinner, but at some point, they will have to stop because you sit in the third of heavens in the Shamahim, the heavens are of all heavens, Father God, beyond the galaxy because you are great <laughs> and there is no one like you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. So, Father, we thank you. We praise you that the work you have started in America, you will complete it. We thank you that the race is not given to the slowful, is not given to the one who is lazy. The race is given to the one who will endure through the end. And, Father God, in the midst of it all, give us the grace to occupy continually until you return for your spotless and blameless bride. This we pray in Jesus' name. America will be saved. America will be saved. I am even sensing the prophetic is coming so fast. And more importantly, the wisdom and the revelation from heaven is being released. It's almost like so tangible where you can take a knife and just cut it in half, which because there's just so much glory. I don't know if you feel that or you see it, but I certainly do. And I'm living in it. Amen. And I pray that we all live in that glory because whatever the Lord is going to do in this time and in this season, many will put their hands over their mouths and say, oh my gosh, I didn't know this. And many will put their hands on their heads and many will wonder and ask questions for why here. However, in the midst of it, all, God is God. And but Beside him, there is no other. People have messed with him enough. And it's time for their idols to crumble. And watch and see as the idols are coming down. I don't care if it's statues that they've put up, whatever it is in our in the New York City or California or uh, wherever they've put these things up in the uh, uh, the South, like your your Georgia, Atlanta, and all these places, wherever they have built up these statues. <laughs> when you hear in the news these statues are crumbling, that is a sign. That's I, what I heard in my spirit. That is a sign. That should be a sign for the ones who put them there will come crumbling just like these statues are crumbling. Now, in Jesus' name, the, the word of the Lord, and we test the spirit with the spirit, make sure that we are hearing from him and not from our flesh. Amen. Thank you, Lord God, in Jesus' name. Well, the Lord be with you and also with me. The Lord bless you and me until the next time, warriors of God. Shalom.